know I hit her in the DM. All eyes, yeah, I see him. Yeah, that's your man. I hate to be him. It goes All right, Tennessee. We're talking about the Titans today. Um, so some new things for the Titans. We've got Mike Vrabel as the head coach. Mike Malarkey, I think, is who was the coach. Uh, he is out as the coach of the Titans. Um, some other new things: new offensive coordinator, new defensive coordinator. Uh, I think the offensive coordinator is Matt uh, Lafleur. I can't say his name. I don't think I said it right. But new offensive coordinator, um, and then Dean Pease is the defensive coordinator, old uh, defensive coordinator of the Baltimore Ravens. So um, an already pretty good defense, looking to improve um, even more with a new defensive coordinator. Now I did like the defensive coordinator uh, that they had b- before. Um, what was his name? Can't think of his name right now. He's an old man. Uh, he he was a he was he was a defense, defensive coordinator for the Steelers for multiple year, years. Can't remember his name, but it's new regime uh, here in Tennessee now. And some new ads, some good ads this, this last offseason. Some of the ads they added, Michael Campanero from uh, Baltimore, good special teams guy. Um, Deion Lewis, I think Deion Lewis was probably the big ad of the summer, um, I'd say, because some of the things that I said last year that the team team needs, some team needs that we talk, that I talked about, maybe draft a quarterback. And so that was one of my team needs that I thought, maybe draft a quarterback. Maybe Mariota is not the answer. Maybe Mariota isn't what we thought he was going to be. Um, you know, during the year last year, the, the Titans seemed as if the way that I described the Titans last year is a team that if they're playing a team that's really good, they can come and they can um, step up to the plate and play uh, to the same level as a team that's better than them. But if they're playing a team that's worse than them, then they come down and play play the same par as the team that they're playing. I saw it happen, you know, week in and week out last year, them winning, uh, losing games they should win, winning games or being in games they shouldn't be in. Uh, they finished nine and seven last year, a game behind Jacksonville. Except they did beat Jacksonville twice last year, and that's why I'm taking the Titans to win it, win it this year. I think new coaching, uh, new offensive coordinator. I think the offensive coordinator is really going to open up some things for Mariota this year, uh, rolling out, and, and and I think they're going to work on his footwork. His footwork sometimes last year wasn't good. Those are things that I think they'll work on, and I think that I think Mariota will be an improved quarterback this year, but. As saying, I said at the at last year at week fourteen, whenever I decided to make some team needs for each team, drafting a quarterback was one of my things. Now Luke Falk, Luke Falk's a guy that I feel like he had a really tough senior year. If you if he would have came out after his junior year, he probably would have been drafted a little bit higher, would have had a little bit better reviews on him. But he had some issues last year. He got he got benched multiple times during the year by Mike Leach. Um, and there's a couple times Tyler Holinsky came in and honestly played better or got Washington State in the game. Washington State was a pretty good team last year, and Luke Falk definitely underachieved um, and made I think I think if you know Luke Falk was playing to the par that Luke Falk could have played, I think Washington State could have been better. That's not here nor there. He still got drafted. They took him pretty late, and so I think Luke Falk's a guy that you could you can watch for the next couple of years if Mariota is not uh, panning out to be the guy that he the the that he was projected to be, um, and I think Luke Falk might fit the offensive system a little bit better going into the future. But that's not here nor there. I think the main reason was drafting a quarterback just to have another option if Mariota implodes. But Mariota is the guy. We're not talking anything like Luke Falk's going to come on, come in and take a spot or something like that. Okay, so a scat back is a must. That was my number two thing on the list, and they did that. They got Deion Lewis. I thought the fact of having uh, – Derrick Henry and um, Murray in the backfield, two two backs that were a lot of the same. You're getting you you under kind of thought you you kind of knew what you were getting um, from those guys. Now Murray was good out of the backfield. He's pretty good at catching the ball, so you knew he had the ability to do that. But I think the fact that an actual scat back and bringing in Deion Lewis is going to be huge. I think it's really going to open up a lot for Derrick Henry. I think Derrick Henry is the starter now, and I uh, third down back Deion Lewis. I think Deion Lewis will get more carries than a third down back. Uh, those, there's going to be a lot of play options for him. I think they could have options where they're both out there at the same time, and so I think that was good. 
My other, my third one is trade Murray. It's time for Henry, and that's something that they did. They didn't necessarily trade Murray, but Murray is a free agent. Murray decided to go ahead and retire. Um, I think that was a a win win because you got Deion Lewis, and you know Murray was kind of was kind of up there on carries, and, and maybe not his age. You know, a lot of people are surprised that Murray, you know, Murray retired, but you know he had a lot of carries there in Dallas for a couple years. You know, he's probably just going to have more wear and tear on his body. He finally found some. Something else he can do, making more money, not destroying his body. So that's good for him. Maybe he found something. But Murray's out. Henry, Henry's the guy. Um, and then defensive line, I thought they, they ought to draft defensive line, improve their offensive line as well. Um, and they needed some They needed some DNs is, is another thing that I kind of talked about. Um and they, they didn't really add a lot of DN. They added Benny Logan, who's a D tackle, which was good. They had a couple, couple offensive linemen, uh, Suafilo, Pomphilil from Tampa Bay. Um, and then I guess the big guy on defense that they added was Malcolm Butler. You know, Malcolm Butler basically got ran out of New England towards the end of last year. Um, and he's, he's here in Tennessee now, Adoree Jackson in the secondary uh, as well. Jonathan uh, Cyprin, Kevin Byard, pretty good secondary. I like this defense a lot. Rashad Evans is slotted as going to be one of the linebackers. Um, Dean Pease often drafted linebackers from Alabama. Um, I think he likes the readiness that they come with. He got Rashad Evans in the first round this year. I think was a really good pick. Uh, Harold Landry as well. Both those guys were projected first-round picks. Uh, he got Landry in the second round. Uh, which I think was really good. I think those are both guys that are going to make impacts on this team this year. Um, Jalen Brown, or Jayon Jayon Brown, is another young guy, not a rookie, but I think he's going to have a pretty good year with Wesley Woodyard um, and then Brian Arakpo. These linebackers are going to be. These are some good linebackers. I like the linebacking core. Derek Morgan as well. Uh, Harold Landry, like I said, Benny Logan and Jarrell Casey as the defensive tackles. Really good, uh, really good defense, interior defensive line. Antoine Woods, another good one. Um, and then just like their 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 ends are going to be a little bit of what you know, what can we get out of their ends? But their their defensive, their interior defensive line is going to be very good. I'm uh, I I really think this is going to be the Titans' year to win this division. Um, now I don't know if they're as good as like the Steelers and I and the Patriots. You know, we'll see at the end of the year if they can compete with teams like that. But defensively, this team's going to be able to compete, and offensively, I think it's just going to be you know what kind of what kind of offense is this team going to have? Is it going to be run heavy? Is it going to be be you know run heavy with some play action and and stuff like that? I don't really know what you know what the new defensive court or the new offensive coordinator is really going to bring to the table. I think that it's going to be an improved team. I think they're not going to have this stagnant team that it did last year. I think this team was better than most of the teams that it played, but it didn't play up to its par. So, um, you know, and they have a good offensive line. They're going to be able to run the ball most likely with Derrick Henry, Deion Lewis. Um, and then Corey Davis, you know, Corey Davis was hurt most of the year last year. We'll see if he can come into his own. Rashad Matthews was pretty good. Uh, no... Uh, Eric Decker. Eric Decker's a free agent. Um, they got a couple other young wide receivers that we'll see if they can they can get going. But um, I, if this team can run the ball, you know, if this team can run the ball and play defense, I think it's going to be a pretty good year for them. Um, and let me think of um, they lost Avery Williamson. That was not a, that was that was probably one of their bigger losses. Sylvester Williams as well. That was another not good. A not a, a Another bad loss, and then Carl Klug is another loss that they had. Uh, Denora Searchy, they lost as well. They had him last year, but I think this is going to be a pretty good team um, this year. Just the division that they're in, I think the Colts and the Texans and the Texans are still, you know, building. They're not at the level that the Titans or the Jaguars are, and I, I just I think I like the Titans a little bit more than the Jaguars this year. Label told me not to drop a tape. Four. Label told me not to drop a tape. I'm sorry. Fuck. P.O. told me not to leave the state. Fuck.